What's up, Ocean Squad? It's me, 368 Process Rashad, and today I'm about to give y'all a ton of brush care tips. Also, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to repair chip paint on your 3WP brushes. I know sometimes if you take your brush to work or to school and you drop it on some concrete on accident because you're putting in a ton of brush work, your paint can chip. And I personally don't like when my paint chip, and so I'm about to show you exactly how to repair that. Now, I try my best to get the brushes made to the point where they don't chip as easily by having to make them with multiple coats of paint. However, it's just like a car, you know what I'm saying? If you drive your car and scrape it against a wall, and then your paint on your car is gonna get messed up. It's inevitable. But that's exactly why I wanna show y'all how to repair that. So you don't have to worry about those small little chips that come in here and there, you know what I'm saying? Besides that, I wanna uh, tell y'all boost that like button for me, hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed, and also to my people, who got the channel notifications turned on, all right? Look, I know y'all here early. Enter that code right there. The first person to enter that code, get 100% off on one 3WP brush, all right, on the website. But if you're not here early, then they probably already used that. The notification squad got that code already. Just turn on the channel notifications by hitting that bell button that's next to the subscribe button, all right? And maybe you could win if you come early to my next video. Anyways, y'all, y'all already know I'm dropping a video every week this month, all right? So make sure you stay tuned in. Let's get into the video. I'm 3WP Rashad. Let's go. All we do is make classic smoke good weed with a bad bitch. Only talking dollars and we ballin' like the Mavericks. Niggas talking broccoli, but they ain't got no cabbage. Yeah, I'm 21, but I ain't gon' say that I'm savage. What I do is magic, what they do is average. I'ma keep on going with this music for my family. I'ma hit a nigga with that same I'm savage. The first brush care tip that I'm gonna give y'all involves cleaning your 3WP brush. I know there's a lot of confusion about how to clean your brush because a lot of people ask me. So I'm gonna show y'all real quick. First thing you gotta understand, never submerge your 360 wave process brush underwater. Let me tell you why. You need to understand that your 360 wave process brush is crafted from real wood. If you submerge wood into water for an extended period of time, that wood will in fact absorb the water. And when the wood absorbs the water, that causes the wood to expand. If you submerge your 360 way process brush in water and enough water gets absorbed into the wood, that will cause your 3WP brush to expand and possibly crack. And we don't want that to happen. So don't use it as a shower brush. I got shower brushes coming soon, all right? Y'all gonna see me drop that in the next year or so, all right? If you really wanna learn how to properly clean your brush, I'm gonna give you a quick little technique. Run the water like this, right? First of all, your brush really shouldn't be dirty like that because when you get a product, like you don't need to use that much product. You only need to use a small amount and um, basically you put that in your hair, right? And if you brushing, it's just a small amount. It won't clog up your bristles. But if you're using too much product, then maybe your, your brush got a lot of product in it. All right, dried up product, and then if you go like that, you will see like flakes and stuff. But that's another story for another day. To clean your bristles, you don't want that much water coming out. You only need a little water. And then you get you a comb. You can use a pick too, that works. And you just rub that through the bristles like this. Don't let the water get to the wood. Now it's okay if a little water touched the wood, but you just don't want water running on that wood getting absorbed. So just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Splash, splash. And then just do this with your comb. A pick is actually an excellent thing to, to use. It gets in between the bristles really well. And then scrape out any debris or products that may be inside of there, or hair, if your sister used your brush or your girlfriend, you know what I'm saying? That is the correct way to clean the bristles of your brush, all right? Clean the bristles, not the wood. We moving on to the next tip, y'all. Hope y'all enjoying this video. Boost that like button. Our next tip revolves around fixing chip paint on your brush. Now, I know this is a problem with brushes that have a painted color on them. And so that's why I really made an effort to bring out these wood grain 3WP brushes. It's wood. It's not gonna chip like that. It's not a layer of paint on here. As well, I brought out the fiery orange edition. This one is wood grain too. Now, this one has a painted logo on there. My logos, they are pretty wear resistant, but nevertheless, sometimes logos wear on these, and I've seen it before, and so I, I can't say that they're wear proof. 
And that's why I took my step to make these 3WP brushes and chose to put an engraved logo on it. Now, that was my excellent choice because this is an everlasting 3WP brush right here. That's how I like to call it. This logo will never come off and this wood won't be chipping like paint will. Now this one is a hard brush and I know some people don't like hard brushes and so I took the liberty to make an everlasting 3WP brush that's a medium and that's this one right here, all right? I also got a red 3WP brush, um, fork breaker edition with the engraved logo coming out. You know what I'm saying? So if you like red and you want a medium brush with an engraved logo, then that red fork breaker is gonna do the job for you. This is the 360 way process crown and beard brush. I basically took the properties of this brush and then I brought forth this wood grain edition right here. And then I took it a step further and created the medium brush with the engraved logo. It's just simple as that. But for the brushes that don't have wood grain, if you drop it on some concrete, it can chip. Now, some of y'all gonna get me for this, but you know what I'm saying? I gotta do this for y'all. Now, what I have here is I have some green paint, I have some red paint, and I have some blue paint. I'm going to purposely chip this blue brush, this gold brush, this green brush, and this red brush just to show y'all how to repair the chip paint. Some of y'all gonna hate me for this, like I said, but I gotta do what I gotta do for y'all. As y'all see, this brush is not chip. This is basically a drop test too, all right? It did not chip really. So what I'm gonna do is just expedite this and just. All right, this blue brush will really chip. It's time for this red edition to get the test. As we can see, they wasn't chipping that easy when I hit it against the concrete, but I just rubbed it just for dramatic effect. And now we're gonna fix the chip paint. So let me show y'all this damage up close. Yeah, I really did the number on this one when I was rubbing it. That's a big chip. But this is fingernail polish, y'all. Amazon and type in blue fingernail polish or just go to like a beauty supply store and then get some. Do it up close for y'all. Now it's imperative that you get a paint color that's going to match the paint on your brush. If it don't match, then your fix might look tacky. Well, you don't want your brush to look tacky. Once that first layer dry, then I'm going to come back to it and put another coat on it because that's a really deep, dark scratch. As you can see right here. You know what I'm saying? That's not light. That's a deep scratch with this red fingernail polish that my sister gave me. Now this matched this really well. Unlike that blue that I was using for that hard blue brush with the handle. There's a little tiny scratch right there. You see it? I'm gonna just touch that for y'all so y'all can see it up close. The light confused y'all right there. Boom, boom, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna, wait, hold up. I'm doing this blind, but nevertheless, I'm doing it. Oh, it's gone. You see it? Boom. It was there, but now no more.
All right, Ocean Squad, so y'all have seen how I repair chip paint on my brushes. Please keep in mind that you don't want to spread the polish all around the brush. You want to keep it in one small area. So this is that same green brush. I'm going to zoom this in for y'all. And as y'all can see, I mean, it don't look chipped no more, right? You can notice a small, minute color difference in that paint from the nail polish to the paint, the original paint on the brush, but nevertheless, it's not as hideous. You know what I'm saying? At first glance, this brush looks good. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no chips in it or nothing. When that dries, it may dry a little bit glossy because I used a heavy amount at the top. If you do it, you kind of got to use some painting patience and make sure you don't apply extra paint in places that don't need paint. If it ain't chipped, don't put no paint on it, basically. Now in this brush, the polish color was different than the color on the brush, it was a little bit darker. So it wasn't suited for this one. So you gotta make sure you get the right color or it's gonna look tacky. Now from far away, like, you know what I'm saying? It still look tacky, Never mind. forget that. Just don't get the wrong color. Now I did this kind of impatiently and quick, so it's a sloppy job. When you do your job, make sure you only put paint on the chipped area. If you put, polish over the original paint that's not chipped, what you're gonna do is cause a thickness in a spot that doesn't need to be thick. You see what I'm saying? The polish on the red brush matched exactly. So really it's all about getting the same color. It's not as noticeable as the other brushes because the polish color is exactly the same as the paint on the brush. It's no difference really. I did a sloppy quick job and it's not even noticeable. So I'm just gonna tack that on to make sure you get the exact color. If the color is not the same, then your job might look a little tacky. And that's how you fix the chip paint on the brush. I'm about to unrag right now for y'all. Just do a quick little brush session. I'm dipping pretty well. I don't have no products in my hair right now. But nevertheless, the waves are still in there. Looking magnificent. I've been working on my weak spot. In my last video, y'all said this was my weak spot, the right back. I feel like it's getting stronger. Actually, it used to be very weak, but as we can see, it's becoming more noticeable. Crown area, I'm still just treating it regular. I don't give it that much attention. I just give it some baby attention here and there. But nevertheless, I'm still working on this spot of my waves. Let me show y'all. I'm working on this right here. I'm trying to get the wave pattern to develop right here. And as far as I can tell, it's coming along. I just gotta stay on it. I usually just stay on it with my fork breaker because it has the perfect angle. The bristle lineup on my fork breaker lines up perfectly in the angle that I want that missing spot to come in. So I'm just gonna stay on it. I'm gonna stay on it. Our next tip revolves around the bristles. And I'm gonna use this for this example. There are loose bristles that are kind of sticking out from the side. I suggest you grab scissors or grab some fingernail clippers like so. You just take it and you just, I wanna make sure y'all can see this. Take it and you just clip that bristle out of the way. Now what this is gonna do is gonna get that bristle from sticking out without making any bristles loose within that hole. And so once you clip all those bristles that's sticking out, now your brush is just basically perfect. Do not pluck bristles from your brush. Only clip them with scissors 
or a fingernail clipper. I really wanted to share that tip with y'all because in the past I had some tweezers and I plucked the bristle out with that tweezer. And what happened was when I plucked the, the bristle out, it made the whole little bristle hole loose and all of the bristles in that hole came out. So never pluck it, clip it with some scissors. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me through this entire video. Um, that's essentially how to care for your brushes. Those are some basic simple tips for y'all to make y'all brushes last longer. Besides that, I appreciate y'all support and I'ma see y'all in my next video, all right? I'm kinda tired right now, man, for real. <sighs> Sheesh, man, I'm tired. Y'all know how tired I am right now. But nevertheless, y'all, I'ma see y'all next week. We doing a video every week all February. Boost the like button, um, turn on channel notifications, and yeah, Ocean Squad, deuces.